Now, do you remember this? Well, one of the members of that band, the keyboard player, is now a professor of physics at the University of Manchester, and today he sings a very different tune. Dr. Brian Cox says hundreds of jobs and research grants are at risk at the Darsbury Laboratories in Cheshire because of changes to government funding, and that if something isn't done soon, things will only get worse for the Northwest science industry. He has compiled this special report for Northwest Tonight. The Northwest has played a remarkable role in the history of science. It was in this room in 1911 that Ernest Rutherford and his assistants Geiger and Marsden discovered the atomic nucleus. And that discovery led to the quantum theory which gave us lasers, transistors, silicon chips, and then DVD players and televisions, everything you use every day. Well, we've come 40 miles down the road to the Daresbury Science and Innovation Campus and this is the Cockcroft Institute, named after the Todmorden physicist John Cockcroft, who was the first man to split the atom. Now, the Cockcroft Institute sits next to the Daresbury Laboratory and together they form the, the vision for Northwest science in the 21st century. But all that is threatened because of government cuts, which may result in over half the workforce at the Daresbury Lab being made redundant. My research has many applications, uh, for instance the development of new drugs and research into uh, sustainable energy sources. Well, I'm a researcher at Lancaster University and um, my project has been cut and I'm looking for a new project already. Um, I'm completely devastated by the, the losses. The prospect of losing half the staff on site really places a question mark over the long-term viability of the site uh, and therefore our, our, our ability to host a, a major world-class facility at some point in the future. This is one of the projects that could be lost at Daresbury. This is the Alice Particle Accelerator. This machine forms the basis of something called EMMA, which is doing research into using beams of particles to remove brain tumours. And I think that's the message of these cuts. They're only a few million pounds, but imagine if that few million had removed Rutherford from science, or Turing, or Cockcroft. You never know where cuts are going to fall, and you never know which bit of the future is going to be compromised. So why are we facing these cuts? Well, the Science and Technology Facilities Council have told us that whilst they had an increase in budget, they also had a huge increase in costs including about £30 million for decommissioning old equipment at Daresbury. But on a more positive note, the government just this afternoon have told us that they're still committed to making Daresbury a world-leading scientific laboratory and they're looking at other ways of making up the funding. Brian Cox for North West Tonight. He's a very clever man, isn't he? Well, he Musician too, and yeah. a scientist. <laughs> now, uh, still to come...